Hi guys, it's George from Creative Arts Studio. Here today to talk about our most popular project, which is pottery painting. So for pottery painting, what you would do is you would pick off a, pick off a piece from a, one of our shelves. We have probably, you know, a couple hundred pieces here at the studio that you can pick from. And they're always changing. We're always getting new pieces in. Um, and we're always uh, fluctuating what we're doing. So for pottery painting, kind of the basics of it, um, it's going to be an $8 studio fee for adults, six for kids, and then plus the price of the piece you pick out. So the price of pieces range. So they start from around $5 all the way up to 120. So it just depends on the project that you pick. Um, Kind of some base prices. A mug usually starts around seventeen dollars. Same with a plate. We have some kids' pieces that start around ten dollars. Um, so we have a lot of different pieces that you can do. We also have some like giant piggy banks over here. These ones are around fifty. Um, so we have a lot of dinnerware, statues, vases, functional pieces, decorative pieces, whatever you imagine. You probably have it. Um, so once you picked out your piece. Then what we'll do is we will go over all of the glazes. So right back here are all of our glazes. We have a couple, we have two different types of glazes. So um, down here we have our little bottles and then uh, the rest of the bottles are our big bottles. So the number one rule with pottery painting is you want to make sure you stick to one type of paint. So the little bottles are an undercoat, which means we dip them in a clear glaze when you finish painting. So whatever you don't paint will be a shiny white. These big bottles up here, they're already a glaze. So that means that they'll turn shiny on their own when you put it when you put your piece in the kiln. So we don't dip over them. So whatever you don't paint with the big bottles will stay the dry white pottery, pottery it is when you start. So if you do choose to use the big bottles, you just want to make sure you paint every surface of your piece. Um, a couple more things with the glazes. Uh, I'll grab my examples right here. You want to make sure that when you are painting, you always paint three coats of everything you do. You can see here if you paint one coat, it's kind of streaky. Three is totally solid. Um, and then this white down here, this is an example of what the pottery looks like if you use the little bottles and you don't paint anything. So this is just the white of the pottery. Um, if you use the big bottles and we put that clear glaze on top of it. The next thing you want to keep in mind is we always want to do light colors first and any details darker. You can see here that if you put a dark color as your base and then a light color on top, you won't really be able to see it. But if you do a light color as your base and then darker details, it'll show up really nicely. So that's just a couple instructions with the glazes once you picked out your pieces. We've gone over all the glazing rules with you. You pick out whatever pieces you'd like, take it to your table, paint it however you'd like, and then after one week, you're able to come and pick them up. So if you follow back here, you can see um, a bunch of examples of projects that have been finished from our customers throughout the last couple of months. So we have a bunch of pieces back here. You'll notice that everything is super bright, super shiny. Um, and ready for pickups. So again, um, once you're done painting, you leave it with us for one week, we put it in our kiln, and then it'll be ready for pickup. Uh, if you guys would like to come on in, just give us a call or go on our website and make a main studio reservation, and you can come in and do painting.